the thing that I'm most often asked at IAVI is, why don't we have an AIDS vaccine yet? And do we really need one anymore? And that part more often comes from people who are more knowledgeable about the whole history of HIV in the US and they look at it as a disease that's so manageable now and chronic. But some of the prevention and treatment technologies we have aren't going to be available to everybody. You think about PrEP, for example, which has been a real game changer for a lot of people in the U.S., but isn't available to everybody in the sub-Saharan African countries, for example, where we do so much of our work. We need something that levels the playing field. And whether you're rich or poor, a man or a woman or a child, then you are prevented from becoming infected. And that is a powerful tool to be able to put in the hands of people. Vaccines are the ultimate champions of public health because a vaccine means that you need an injection one, two, or three times, and it usually protects you for at least several years. And if you're lucky, it protects you for the rest of your life. No single prevention strategy will be as effective as an HIV vaccine, even if it is 40 to 50 percent efficacious. The vaccine will bring a huge social change, and it will bring down the number of incidents to a remarkable number.